My name is Nils Hermann Ranum. Uh, I work for Rainforest Foundation Norway. The two by far largest producers of palm oil are Indonesia and Malaysia in Southeast Asia, but you also have kind of increasing production elsewhere in the world, both in South America and gradually also increasing in Africa. Traditionally, palm oil has been used mainly for food uh, and used as vegetable oil in food, kind of like a lot of other vegetable oils. But the last years, it has increasingly also become a feedstock for biofuels. Deforestation for palm oil production is one of the major causes for deforestation in Southeast Asia and leads to very, very high carbon emissions, uh, for example, resulting that uh, the deforestation in Indonesia, where palm oil is one of the major drivers, uh, results in Indonesia being the fifth largest uh, greenhouse gas emitter in the world. And that's due to the deforestation, not use of fossil fuels. The, the main problem is when the palm oil industry expands into forest areas and peatland areas. Uh, Tropical rainforests are one of the richest, or the richest, uh, most biodiverse uh, ecosystem that we have on Earth. And when it's destroyed, of course, it's a disaster for local biodiversity. And you have kind of high-profile species like orangutans uh, or rhinos uh, that are endangered, partly due to deforestation uh, from palm oil industry. But there are also a lot of other smaller animals, insects, plants uh, that are threatened due to the deforestation where palm oil is a major cause. There are many different kinds of local communities. Uh, my organizations work mainly with very forest dependent uh, local communities that live in and are dependent on resources in the forest for their survival and for their livelihood. If uh, palm oil companies expand and comes into their forest, uh, destroy the forest, these communities will basically lose the resources that they are dependent on. But then you have other more, should I say, agricultural local communities that also produce palm oil themselves. So for some local communities it's also a source of income. Indeed, uh, the huge uh, demand for palm oil and the increasing demand for palm oil is currently driving deforestation, especially in Southeast Asia. So reducing consumption of palm oil, I think, should be a priority. I think it's becoming pretty obvious that certification is not solving deforestation due to palm oil expansion. Uh, so we need much more, uh, what should I say? broader perspectives, uh, basically what you need is a system where governments in Indonesia and Malaysia in particular get a much better control over expansion, where they limit expansion uh, and ban basically expansion of palm oil plantations into forest lands and into peatlands.